Hi guys, very good afternoon. Are we good to start? Guys, am I audible? Yes, yes, you are audible. Yes, you are audible. Okay, guys. Before we start, uh, my name is Kiran. I am uh, seven years of experience holding uh, as a instructor. I teach on uh, different VMware technologies as well as Cisco technologies. So before we start, I just want to have a quick introduction from all of you, just to know what you are expecting from this course. Uh, course. So I start with Abhijit. Abhijit, yeah, I'm a Okay, Sonal Singh. Jebu, Jagdish, Kamal. Guys, do you really hear me or means um, I know I'm not seeing any response from anyone. Yeah, we are able to hear we are able to hear you. Okay. Only Kamal responded, right? So yeah, I can hear you. Okay. So so guys, feel free to introduce yourself. Okay. Don't hesitate and don't hesitate in introducing yourself, guys. Go ahead. I want this section to be session to be interactive, guys. Not just I'll speak and nobody will uh, utter a single word. Feel free to say, okay. Okay, guys, anyone knows what is networking? Hello. Hello. Connecting all the systems and printed uh, electronic devices together, uh, which is used to transfer the data uh, for data sharing purpose. Okay. Anyone else has any idea about uh, what is networking? Uh, connecting device uh, with each other to share the data. Thank you. Nazima, I am Telugu. Okay, so... Right, good morning. Connecting one or more devices to share the data. Jibu, right? Yeah, Jibu. Thank you, Jibu. Thank you. What about Loksha? She's asking people uh, is, is speak in Telugu or not. So, guys, is, this course is totally in English. If anyone has any concern, please let us know. Dipesh, what is your uh, say on the networking? It's a transferring packets or data from uh, one device to another device which are connected together okay and what if they are not connected they should be connected to each other okay okay what about uh within within chohan yep um it's it's just an um, the connection of um, you know two or more computers or any sort of devices where we exchange information over the um, let's say internet or just between both devices. Okay, thanks, Mitin. Okay, Mamsi is saying something on the chat. Routers, which is devices connected together, we call it as networking. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys, let's start. So today. Is the demo class for our CCNA batch, and we will be covering only four topics. So I'm sharing my screen. Let me know when it is visible to you. Guys, is my screen visible? No. Now? Now it is visible. Okay. So guys, let's talk about fundamentals. What is networking? Mm -hmm. 
then we'll talk about OSI and TCP IP model. Then we'll talk about IPv4 addressing. And then last we'll talk about subnetting. So I'll try to cover subnetting today, but we'll we'll do some information to Ayanoto training network. May some meeting. Somebody saying something. Yeah, is, is someone saying something or we can start guys? We can start. Okay. Thank you. So what is a network and why we need a network? So can somebody tell me, are they accessing internet or network in their environment? Any use case of network? Guys, are you using Facebook, Instagram, something like that? Yes. So that is a network. Yeah. Okay. So now if we talk about network, yes, somebody said correctly. Network refers to as two devices that are connected directly or indirectly can communicate with each other. For example, let's say this is two PC, PC one and PC two. This PC has an IP address of, let's say any uh, IP, don't worry if you don't know about the IP address, we'll explain that thing, 24, and then this is 10.1.1.2. So they can communicate to each other, but how that is our concern, right? How they communicate to each other right now in this situation, we have provided a cable between them, between the PC. So now in this scenario, if you want to connect any of the PC to another PC, then you can communicate using a direct cable. But how many network interface card you see on the PC? It might be possible that you have some other device do you want to connect, right? So are you going to connect the cable every time? Hello? If we have Wi-Fi access to the system, we can able to access internet through the Wi-Fi. If not, we need to use the LAN cable. Okay. So you are saying about the LAN cable, right? Yeah. Fine. But yeah. right now, yeah. Hello. Please. Hello. Yeah. And besides the LAN cable and the Wi-Fi, I believe we can also use fiber optic for mm -hmm. connections. Okay. So right now we are providing the interconnection between two uh, PCs using a direct cable, right? But it might be possible that suppose I have my one PC is hosted maybe in US and one PC is hosted in let's say India. Do you think how we can provide the communication between them? Communicate by internet. By the internet? Yes. Okay. But why the internet? Internet is not secure. Why only the internet? Suppose this is your internet, right? So, okay. We can go ahead and connect to the internet. From here, we can connect to the internet. You'll so, be using a VPN. VPN. Okay. We can go ahead and configure the VPN. Yeah. If you, if you want to have a secure connection. 
okay secure connection we can go ahead with vpn okay anything else you can think of firewalls firewalls fine so people know the terminology is fine so you are saying let's go ahead and configure vpn VPN, firewalls, and the routers. Routers. Anything else? Switches. Routers. Switches. Switches. Okay. So let me ask you guys a simple question. Okay. Do you know about OS OSI model? Yes. yes. Okay. So if I ask you a simple question. Suppose you have a router, right? Router falls in which layer? Which layer? Layer, layer three. Network layer. Layer three. Layer, layer three. Layer three. Layer three. And network layer. Okay. So for OSI, it's layer uh, network layer. What about the TCP/IP model? Yeah, is it three layer campaign for the application layer. It is a second presentation is a component for the application layer. So you are saying that the router will come in the application layer, right? Yeah, uh, TCP IP uh, physical and uh, uh, no, I don't know the exact things. It is seven okay. layers. It is uh, TCP IP is only four layers only. Okay. TCP IP falls on the transport transport layer. Transport layer. TCP. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, that's right. So you are saying router falls in transport layer of TCP IP model, correct? TCP yes. TCP, yes. TCP IP falls on transport layer. So router, router falls in router is in transport layer according to you. No, the not no. the router. Oh, so TCP, TCP IP. TCP IP comes under transport layer. Okay, fine. The it will layer. still come. Uh, it will still come under network layer, even if um, B or OSI or TCP uh, B or OSI or TCP IP. Great, model. great. It will be still under network layer. What about switch? Switch is a layer two device. Okay, switch is a layer two device. So it's a data link layer. Data link layer. Yeah. Okay. If I talk about what comes in physical layer, guys. Cabling hub. Cables. Repeaters. Okay. First of all, cables. You want to say it's on layer two. Okay. Anything else other than cables? No, here comes in zeros and ones. Data. Uh, do you think about satellite communication? What about satellite communication? What about fiber optics? What about analog signal? Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, bro, if you are speaking, I really can't hear you. I think uh, it's the same with everyone. Yes, fiber optic cable still in physical layer in TCIP model. Thank you. Uh, and what about satellite communication? As it is sending the signals, then it might be in physical layer itself. Okay, thank you. And what about sine wave? Okay, um, it's okay. Let's let's. Let's say the physical layer we have uh, repeater. Then we said satellite communication. Then we have cables and so on. Guys, we have transport layer, right? What is in do we have in transport layer? Everybody says TCP UDP, right? Somebody said yeah. transport layer has TCP UDP. So what is TCP? What is UDP, guys? 
these are the protocols protocols yeah. what they are doing these are you going to be used for transmitting the data those are in trusted trusted media that means wired is called uh, tcp ip and uh, wireless is coming the udp okay thank you anything else so tcp is something called connection oriented or connection less tcp is a connection oriented connection <laughs> oriented why connection oriented as uh, using t in tcp protocol we are you going to use the physical uh, way of communication like using optical cables uh, normal cables and all okay okay and what about udp why it is connection less we can use wifi or any other means for transmitting transmitting the data to the other device okay I'm anything sorry. else can i say it's something it's been used the true and sec between the sender and receiver okay anyone else it is about free hand shakes uh, free hand shaking uh, connection before the connection uh, stand uh, stood we will stand it needs to prepare it needs to make sure that it working in uh, because there are three type uh, how to explain free way uh, free hand shaking yeah it means mm -hmm. it's a specific type of connection it's not the uh, the same that it's wifi or it's cable it it can be on both it can be in wireless and it can be in wired it's uh, my it's, phone, right it's not uh, depend on type of connection it means it not depend of media like uh, i'm not sure like cable or like wifi it depends mm -hmm. on uh on uh, data which you send to make sure that it's connected and that is the difference correct i think thank thank you michael so michael uh, said correctly tcp means it's always three way handshake means i am sending you some information you have to acknowledge me after you acknowledging me then only i'm send the rest of the data so it's always a three way handshake but for udp it's user datagram protocol i don't care whether you are receiving the data or not i am sending it to you if it is not received to you it is not my problem that is your udp user datagram protocol guys clear or because now within few minutes i will be explaining you it with a diagram let's give me a minute guys clear yes idea just about tcp and udp am i audible what's the question again okay are we good to uh, are we good with tcp udp or do you want me to explain in detail uh, it will be good if you can explain okay okay let's say this is your ascender device yeah. 
and this center wants to send something to this receiver. And this uh, center, Kiran, it's, Kiran, it's not visible fully. Can you just pull up a little bit? Okay, let me share my screen one second, guys. Give me a minute. Let me know when it is visible to you again. Is it visible now? Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's good. Now, if <laughs> connection oriented means in TCP connection, it's always three way handshake means TCP connection. The sender will send the packet. Let's say sending a packet. Then the receiver will acknowledge will acknowledge and say, okay, I got the packet. Kindly send the remaining packet. And then accordingly, the sender will send the third packet. That is all three-way handshake. Guys, is it fine or do you want me to explain it? This is TCP. But in UDP, there will be no three-way handshake. Okay. Sender will send the packet or traffic to receiver and some sender doesn't care about it. What is happening with your packet? Whether they are receiving it or not. This is simple TCP and UDP. So guys, firewall works on which layer? Hello? Firewall works in which layer, guys? Layer 4 layer to 7. Layer 3, 4 and 7. Layer 3, 4 and 7. Sorry to interrupt you. Hello? Yeah. yeah. Sorry to interrupt you. Mm -hmm. uh, the way you uh, taught us about the UDP and TCP, mm -hmm. it was a good uh, thing. Because you, if you ask everybody, they will tell in their terms. Mm -hmm. And we will get confused. If once you ask the question and then you uh, start to explain, mm -hmm. it will be beneficial. Now we understood it's uh, TDP and use, uh, UDP and TCP. Right. And many you asked for many, many people questions, we will get confused. So okay. that way it will be helpful, uh, Kiran. Okay. Actually, I'm asking in this way because lot of people who are are either a CCNA certified or who have the basic uh, knowledge, they don't know the correct terminology. They don't know the correct things, right? So is always ask them whether they know about, about it or not. If they do, it might be possible that they know they know incorrectly. Okay. So that's why I'm asking this question. But fair enough. Do if you want me to change the uh, the way I'm teaching, I can change that as well, man. No, no. no once once it's enough. Like uh, one one person, if he says the uh, answer, mm -hmm. it would be enough. It's okay. my opinion. It's my opinion. Yeah, sure. Uh, who is this? Uh, my, may I know your name? Mohammed Nasir. Mohammed Nasir. Thank you, Mohammed. Okay. So now let's proceeding further. Uh, if I talk about TCP UDP on which layer the firewall works. Layer four. Transport. Layer four. Okay. Actually, it works on layer four to layer seven. Okay. It was the old days when it was used to work on layer four. Okay. Guys, is my screen visible again? Yes. Okay. Let's let's talk simple, simple networking. Okay. Suppose this is your PC. And you want to access the website, let's say any website, let's say it's amazon.com. Okay. Now on your PC, you browse something like this. HTTPS colon colon amazon.com. Do you know what will happen in your 
within the within your laptop what are processing will be happening what's your question again okay suppose you browse on your laptop with hmm. https colon colon hmm. amazon.com right hmm. so i want to know what all functionality or app things or happening in your environment yeah i think so that there, i know sorry yeah it, it is i think the encapsulation because we have two processes encapsulation and decapsulation is it okay. correct if i correct if i think correctly sorry for i speak uh, some, actually, some english actually i'm i'm asking uh, the process in terms of the osi model yeah yeah uh, uh, OSA, yeah, yeah, yeah. Application layer, uh, next one is a second. I know about it, but of course, we have application layer. After that, we have presentation layer, of course, a session layer, because we need to uh, <clears throat> establish session, Tra transport layer. <clears throat> which we mentioned before. Uh, after that is network layer. <clears throat> and the Italian layer, it is lower than network layer. And the last one is physical layer. Okay, fair enough. So this is what we actually the OSI model works. So let's say This is your sender and this is your receiver. Now let's say they are connected by the, uh, let's say any medium. So in the application layer, let's say they are connected. connected between connecting via cables internet let's say satellite communication form or might be wireless something like that okay now as soon as your senders is sending the traffic to amazon.com it will check your application so what is your application here Guys, what is the application? Of, of course, HTTP, but it's uh, uh, SSL and or TLS uh, HTTP yeah. protocol. Okay. Now, in CCNA or in networking, we don't care about these four layers. Let's bypass these layers. Let me tell you the functionality of this layer. This layer, presentation layer, will actually encode or compress your data to save your bandwidth the presentation layer it will present your data that's it session layer it will make a session with your this layer just to see the traffic yeah. which is sending and receiving it's authenticate or not now in networking we hardly care about these two layers we don't care about them. So we will not be targeting. So as soon as you type HTTPS Amazon.com, your traffic will be handed over to the transport layer, let's say. So on the transport layer, let me change the color. We have your actual data. This is your data. This data will be enforced with a new header 
called a TCP header because it's a TCP header because HTTPS works on TCP. So it will be port details. Source port and your destination port. So guys, what is the port for HTTPS? If you don't know, don't worry. TCP. Port 443. Right? 443. Yeah, but source port, it can be random. And random from the range of? 1024. 4, 6, 5, 5, 3, 5. 6, 5, 5, 3, 5. Yeah. This part of your data transmission called as segment. Guys, correct me if you think I'm wrong. Yes, sir. Yes. This segment then further down the line is encapsulated into network. In network means we have this segment. So we have segment. In that segment, what we have? Our data. Now the network layer will impose another header that includes the source IP and the destination IP. So let me say this is my source IP. The source IP includes, let's say, 10.1.1.10 and the DIP includes 10.1.1.11. This is your DIP. So this particular pack part is called as packet. Anyone any concern? Do you think I am wrong or do you have any suggestions? I agree with you. Yes, I told you. So now the source IP and the destination IP that is we have to discuss but after this diagram. This part is called uh, the IP4 addressing. These are into two types of IP, IP addressing. IP addressing means we have two types. Yeah, uh, public IP and transport. Four. Oh, four and four, six, okay. So let me exclude as of now. Then the next thing what will happen? Another encapsulation will be happening and that is your frame. What is frame? The frame includes the source MAC, the destination MAC. So let's get destination MAC. And let's talk about the source Mac. And what we have here as a payload, we have our packet. This packet down the line will again be converted into what? It can be RF signals. It can be satellite signals, it can be 0, 1, it can be copper signals, anything. So in reality, in the physical media, your data will be in the form of appropriate uh, conventions like 0, 1, 0, 1 for analog. Bytes. Sorry? Bytes. 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 Bytes, correct. So now we are only, if we talk about networks, we are only concerned of application layer, transport layer, network layer, and data link layer. We don't care what is happening on your physical layer, but yes, it is required because if your physical layer is not up, means your packet will not be, your data will not be transmitted. Let's talk about the same thing happening on the reverse side. So what will happen here? This sender sends the 010101. 
वॉट विल हैपन हेयर वॉट इट विल डू द डेटा लिंक लेयर इट विल डिकैप्सुलेट द फ्रेम द फ्रेम गाइज मेक श्योर टू रिमेंबर दीज टर्मिनोलॉजीज इफ यू विल नॉट रिमेंबर देन यू विल गेट कंफ्यूज and most of the interviewer will check on these terminologies only if you say pack it in layer 2 then you are rejected so you have to make sure that you are using the appropriate terminology in your interviews then it will decapsulate the frame and forward the pack it to the network layer now the network layer will receive the packet what will happen here decapsulate the packet and forward it to transport layer guys any questions hello no we don't have any questions i'm so far the transport layer will again check the source port and destination port so what was the destination port guys it was 443 for tcp yes and then the tra traffic will be send it to the web server straight forward i'm not considering the application layer and the presentation layer sorry the presentation layer and the session layer boom data received by the server on port tcp 443 guys so far so good or any concerns so if somebody will ask you what is the osi model will you able to explain them if somebody will ask you on what layer the ip address works so what do you say layer 2 layer 3 layer 4 network layer network layer, layer <clears throat> what about the frames in uh, data link network layer layer. what about the segment in transport transport so Trans what transport layer guys are we good to proceed further or you have any concerns it's about the uh, presentation layer and session layer so just uh, just to just explain actually uh, the presentation layer okay let me give you some more insight guys i forgot to explain you these all are software layers these all are software layers but these all are your hardware layer so who is providing the bridge between the hardware and software who is providing the bridge between the hardware and the software it is transport layer this transport layer 
this is actually the bridge bridge between software and the hardware now when we are focusing on the labs we will be taking care of cisco packet tracer so whatever the labs we are doing with the ccna it will be on the cisco packet tracer it is free of cost you just need to download and install on your laptop that's it so we will be doing the labs as well because in networks you can't learn things if you don't do the labs labs guys so far so good or any concern from anyone now there is another model do you know about tcp ip model there is another yeah. model designed by department of defense and that includes only four layers what are the four layers that is your tcp ip model yeah tcp ip model has only four four layers application layer uh, it is and i think it contains three layer almost three layers from the osi model uh, and after that is transport layer in internet layer internet layer uh, it is very similar to data link layer if i remember correctly and network access layer that is something like physical layer and yeah yeah something application layer transport layer then what we have the network layer inter internet or network layer yeah either you can call it internet layer or the network layer both are the same so it's a network layer and then what we have at the last physical layer yeah yeah Physical layer. So what is that? Yeah, sorry. Network access layer two. I, if I remember correctly, that is the another name. Yeah, uh, it is access layer, but yeah, it's a network access layer actually. This network layer includes two layer. That is your network layer and. and data link layer kiran sorry i had uh, gone outside you had called it call me it seems sorry for that uh mena who is this mohammad nasir you call you call it seems my name no, no man uh, it has been long i called your name yeah okay okay the transport layer it's again the same bridging between the software and hardware application layer includes what again three layer what are these the application layer session layer and uh, presentation layer okay thank you and presentation layer and now if we talk about devices we have firewalls running from here to here then what we have here switches i think switches and routers 
so let me mark here the l layer network layer we have either routers routers yeah or l3 switches data link layer we have switches mm -hmm. and what bridges bridges yeah. and bridges and now if we talk about the network access layer what we have somebody mm -hmm. said repeater a repeater uh hubs i think and 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 scapes and wi-fi signals and so on yeah so if i if you want to wi-fi then let's call rf rf signals Guys, anyone, any concern till now? Do you have anything that I need to include or do you have any questions? Feel free to ask. Yeah. What is mean by RF signals? RF signals is the radio frequency. Radio frequency. Yeah. On which your Wi-Fi wireless works. Means whatever the data uh, uh means uh, the frames we got from the data link layer that data frame uh, layers will be uh, converted so frames are converted into the signals rf signals and through that antennas on the wireless that rf signals are transmitted and received now the concern here is we will be targeting each layer. So let's start with network layer. And in the network layer, we have something called IP addresses. And these IP addresses are either IPv4 or IPv6. Guys, what is the difference between IPv4 and IPv6? Mm, there are a few differences. IPv4 for example, is work, uh, working on a 32-bit. IP version 4, 32-bit. IP version 6 is 128-bit. Uh, yeah, it's difference between bits, which we need use for this the long uh, the ip4 5 version 6 is longer than ip version 4 it contains 128 bits yeah okay any other difference you think of uh, uh, ip in decimal ipv6 in hexadecimal okay we use okay. different notation type this decimal and uh, six Hexadecimal, yeah. yeah. Anything else? Okay. If I calculate something like that, 2 to the power 32, these are the IP4 addresses. No, no, 2 to the power 8. Are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. How? It's a 32 bit. Huh? Mm, okay. Then think about it. Why I'm saying that. And if I talk about. Actually, each 8 bits are one octet, I think. Yes, exactly. 28, it's your IPv6 addresses. The problem nowadays world are seeing that the number of IPv4 addresses are gone. They are all are exhausted. So what they did, they introduced something called private IP addresses. You know private IP addresses? Yeah. What are they? It is specific uh, type of other IP addresses which which is unwritten, uh, or it means it it is not possible to send this 
addresses to another road router uh, if okay. i think it's uh, okay the private ip addresses are those addresses guys if you think i am wrong i don't have any problem in uh, believing it okay just explain me if you think i am wrong private ip addresses are those which are not Indeed. routed to the internet means every organization in this world will have their own ip addresses private ip address means there is certain ranges of private ip addresses which every organization can use even you will also use in your home network but these are not routed to the internet gotcha yeah yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. let me explain you in a way okay let me go to terminal let me say i have config if i see my ip address something like that it should be 192.198 something like that okay what is my ip address okay there are a lot of virtual interface happening yeah this is my ip address let's say okay but if i go to internet and say what is my ip address we, have uh, some... we can see your uh, we see website we can see uh, okay okay i apologize let me share my screen see yes this is my private ip addresses of my network yeah but see what is the what is my IP, public ip address is this it's this why this is the difference i have a private ip address but on the internet it's visible to be the public ip address the question here is in order to order to route these ip addresses to the internet you need to re use nat i know nat is a is advanced topic just to explain you nat is something called as network address translation this week nat means translate your public to private private ip, private IP address to to public ip address and there is vice versa as well as well which i will explain you when we talk about the nat now somebody said me there is the ip addresses which we have on the ipv4 is 2 to the power 8 right yeah. guys can you please explain oh <clears throat> hello uh, hello yeah. uh, can you can you repeat the question actually somebody told that the total number of ipv4 addresses is 2 to the power 8 not 32 i yeah. need to whether i am wrong or i am right and fortunately i am right i just checked on the internet as well the ipv4 this pool includes 32 bits 2 to the power 32 in size and contains 4 lakh something 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 IP4 addresses. So in total we have total number of IP addresses in IP4 is this. And total number of IPv6 addresses this. Now in IPv4 we have a way to represent our IP addresses. 
guys do you want a break or you you think we can continue yeah we can continue oh, my end is no problem the rest of the guys kindly acknowledge for me it's yeah, okay we can, we can continue so in ipv4 we have four octets these four octets are converted as 8 bits dot 8 bit dot 8 bits dot 8 bits now this 8 bits which you are going to write as either network bits host bits network bit or host bits according to this we have four classes of network class a b c d e class b class c and class d and you know why i have divided like this class d can somebody explain me why what is class a sir 10.0.0.0 you are saying 10.0.0.0 class a ip address is one octet so it's 12126 1.1.1.1.25 1. it will broadcast it suppose mm -hmm. around uh, 16 million hosts okay so in a nutshell if i want to say the ip address is in this it starts from 0.0.0.0 till 127.255.255 yeah it's used for large network like uh, lan okay hello sorry for the interference but it's yeah. actually 0 to 126 yeah, 127 is look for low back addresses and reserved for testing yes man i know even if i talk if you talk about the reservation no i have also included this network this network is also reserved as a private ip address okay i am just talking about the ranges right now i am not talking about the reservations hello did you get my uh, question or yes 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 we are just talking about the ranges we haven't talked about the reservation yet that we will do when we'll talk about the ranges and thank you for highlighting that point mate if we talk about class b what do you think the class b starts from 128 128.0.0.0 192 192 sorry 191 oh, 128 to 191 okay what about class c 192 to 223 dot 172 0.0 123 sorry 223 dot 0.23 yes 223 dot 223 What about class D? Two twenty four dot zero dot zero dot zero. Two thirty nine. Two thirty nine. Zero dot zero dot. Sorry, two five five. Dot two five five. Okay. Now somebody was said about the reservations, and I'm glad that somebody has raised about it. So, what are the IP subnets you think you can't use? Yes. What are the IP subnets which you believe you can't use? Come on, guys! Somebody said the reservations, right? We can't use to class D and uh, something also added to class E, which we can't be used for purposes. Okay. Fine. Anything else? One twenty seven also we can't use. Uh, private addresses we can't use on the internet. 
Yes, exactly. In what are the ranges? In class A is ten dot zero dot zero zero to ten dot two two fifty five dot two fifty five, and in mm -hmm. class B is one seventy dot sixteen dot zero dot zero to one seventy dot thirty one dot zero dot zero, and in class C is one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot zero, then one ninety two dot one sixty dot two fifty five two fifty five two fifty five. Thank you. Reservations. Some of the IP addresses. Private. Class A. Somebody said it's like ten dot zero dot zero dot zero slash eight till ten dot two five five dot two five five dot two five five. Class B. Somebody said one seventy two dot twelve dot zero dot zero or sixteen dot zero. Sixteen sixteen dot zero. Yeah. That was the part we were discussing. Any other reservations you believe? Somebody said loopback IP address, right? What was the range? Two one twenty seven dot zero dot zero dot zero till one twenty seven dot zero dot sorry two five five dot two five five dot two five. Any other IP address? I think class D and uh, class E. Okay, there is one more IP address which you can't use. That is A I P I A. Is that two two forty two two fifty four is one fifty nine dot two fifty four something like that range. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah it right. is for APIPA automatic IP address allocation. In case you want your PC to get the IP address from the DHCP server, if DHCP is not allocating the IP address. It will get the internal IP address. This that's called a PIP IP address. Anything else? Why uh, this IP address is reserved, guys? Ah, uh, that is multicast group. Who is this? What is your name? Hajra Begum. It's a multicast group. Guys, so far so good. Or any concern? Anyone has anything in his mind or uh, their mind to discuss about the reservations? I'm free to discuss. No problem. These IP addresses are reserved, and fortunately, every organization. If you are working with every organization, or you're working in your home lab or home PC as well, you will see this IP address in your environment. Not other than that. If you are seeing the public IP address, it means your service provider is rich enough to allocate the private public IP address to you. Because for any other public IP address, you need to get the IP address allocated from from where from the IP, from the provider. And for that, provider will be get charged. So they will charge you as well. So it's not free of cost. Okay, guys, let's take a quick break for five minutes. Let's reunite in uh, reunite at twelve fifteen. Hi, guys. I'm back. Yeah, let's begin. Guys, uh, just a quick feedback. Do you think it's a uh, look at it means uh, means how was the class going on? It's something interesting, or you want me to change the way we are learning? Yeah, it's going good only. So. Yeah, my side is fine. It's good, uh, Giran. Yeah, my side also it is very good, sir. Okay, so now one of the 
कॉम्प्लेक्स टॉपिक ऑफ नेटवर्किंग एंड दैट वी कॉल्ड एज सब नेटिंग I hope people is people are aware about subnetting. Yeah. Okay. So somebody going to teach me. So let's talk about subnetting. Okay. So let me take you. Uh, let me give an example. Okay. I have a network. Let's say a private network. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot zero slash twenty four. and i want okay in uh, okay do you think how many ip addresses are usable in this network and if somebody is giving the answer i need the explanation 254 254 okay so you are saying 254 one answer any other answers usable ip addresses for oh, yeah, now can i get it 254 i think any other answers guys or la or do you think he is correct i think 254 is correct 253 is the usable okay 253 because one is going to get away right okay we... i think 252 now another answer 252 okay the one broadcast ip or non thing is another ip i think network ip something okay okay guys let me explain okay so the answer which he the first guy has given is correct okay it includes the router ip as well now let's say we have a ipv4 ip address ipv4 address i said 192 168 one colon Zero. So now I told you that there is a four blogs in an IP address. Blog one, blog two. Okay, I think I need to another way. Let's say one ninety two. There's a blog one, and I have. At one okay. Then we have another blog that is for dot one. Then we have another blog. Let's say it is. So when you talked about slash twenty five, means we have. Eight bits in every octet. Eight bits. Bits. Eight bits. Eight bits. And eight bits. So when we talk about total IPv4 addressing here is thirty-two bits. now i have given you slash 24 right slash 24 in 24 what we are going to do we are going to subtract minus 24 minus 24 bits because this has been allocated to network Guys, give me a minute, please. Sorry, guys, my bad. Okay, so this one ninety two is given to network. This is also given to network, and this is also given to network. Means 
this is your n bit this is also your net n bit so n stands for network network then the only thing pending for us is the host bit the h this is your h h is equal to host 8 bits yeah host so final we have only 8 bits pending so if i am going to say okay the host is equal to 2 to the power 8 8 is equal to 256 6. but i said 254 i said 254 wow. because you can't use the first ip address means 192.168.0 sorry no. 1.0 and the last IP address. Two, six. Means 192.168.1.255. So the concern here is the IP address always starts from zero and always ends for 255. Can somebody tell me the reason behind it? Why the IP address is starting from zero and ending at 255. Sorry, my bad guys. I wrote something incorrectly. This yeah. is not two five, it's two to five, two five five. Yeah. So the IP address always starts from zero and ends at two five five. Why so? Why not one? Why not two fifty six? Zero is the representative of network. Two mm -hmm. is the broadcast. Okay, yeah. But why so? The reason behind it. Okay, carry on. The reason behind it is whenever we are going to calculate. We are calculating in a way like 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So if I'm going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and then let's say 8. 0. So 2 to the power 0. 0. 2 to the one. power. 2 to the power one. 1. 1. 1. 2 to the power 1. 2. One. 2 to the power 4. Sorry. One. 2 to the power 2. Uh, 4. 2 to the power four. 3. Six, eight. 32. 64 and 120. Eight. When you are going to add all this sum, it two. will be 55. That's why the IP address is starts from 0 to 255. Please explain once again about 255, how it came, came. Okay, let me explain you once again. Okay, let's say I have 8 bits. So let's say 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and let's say 0. 2 to the power 0? No. 1, 1. 2 to the power 2, so 2 to the power 1, 2, 2, and the same way we go up here, 2 to the power 7, 128, 128, what is the sum of these numbers? 255. Two, so the IP address starts at 0 and at 255. Okay. Now, guys, who knows the subnetting, please don't need to answer. And this is this question is for the people who do who does not know the subnetting. For example. I have a question, let's say 192.168.1.255. Okay. 
वन डॉट जीरो स्लैश ट्वेंटी सिक्स यू नीड टू टेल मी नंबर ऑफ नेटवर्क बिट्स एंड नंबर ऑफ होस्ट बिट्स यस इट इज फॉर दूस हु डज नॉट नो सबनेटिंग a new learners there are no new learners everyone are the professional in ccna in subnetting uh, no sir i don't know to answer kiran so you kept quiet okay you okay the person who knows the answer can quite quiet the person who does not know can answer or try uh. to answer guys let us try to answer किरण हेलो या या आई थिंक द नेटवर्क इज फर्स्ट थ्री पार्ट इज नेटवर्क व्हिच इज 192.168.1 इज नेटवर्क एंड द होस्ट इज द लास्ट पार्ट व्हिच इज ऑफ 8 8 बिट्स ओके सो गाइस थ्री नेटवर्क थ्री नेटवर्क वन होस्ट मींस ओके आई थिंक सो नॉट श्योर ओके नो नो इट्स ओके गाइस इफ यू डोंट नो इट्स फाइन आई एम हियर टू टीच यू सी The number of network bits is always calculated as thirty-two minus twenty-six. What is the number of network bits? Sorry, my bad, my bad, guys, my bad. I really apologize. Let me explain once again. This twenty-six is your network bits straight away. Twenty-six. Bits are network bits. Yeah. Okay. And if we talk about the number of host bits, the host bit is equal to thirty-two minus twenty is equal to six bits. Six. Yeah. Everyone said uh, are uh, uh, fine with this this approach. Got the yeah. gist? That's fine. Yes. That's fine. Okay. Now, if I ask you another question, how many networks you can get from this? Uh, uh, okay. Le okay. Sorry. Let me rephrase it. This question in another way. I have one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot zero slash twenty four, and my manager asked me to subnet this network. Into slash twenty six. Yeah, can somebody do that for me? Can we subnet the network? Yes. Okay. How? Okay. Don't worry. Don't think about how. How many slash twenty six network you will get? Which comes from the one hundred ninety two dot one hundred sixty eight dot one dot zero slash twenty four. I think that yes. four four subnets we we will have in this case. Okay, and who said that four? Okay, any other answer? But it means which comes from if we think about all of the subnets we can create it is oh, is two power to twenty six. So one ninety two. Think about all all possible. Six one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot sixty four slash twenty six. Then you say like this. You are saying. Give me a second. I will check. Uh, yeah, sixty three, sixty four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Four subnets with this one. Yes, something like that. I think. Are you saying like this? Yeah, How like this? like this. From if we want to build the subnet from the. From the one hundred ninety to one hundred sixty eight, one point zero, which has, which which has, 
CIDR24, and we want to uh, use 26 CIDR. Okay. Then, mm -hmm. of course, I see only four subnets in this case. Okay. Fine. So, guys, anyone agrees with this answer or? Hello? Is anyone agreeing with this answer or not? Or somebody has something else? Yeah, agree with that. Yeah. Network, yeah. Network, we can yeah. it. Sorry? Kiran, it's totally, I didn't get this, this thing, the four subnets. I'll explain you guys. I'm asking whether this answer is correct or not right now. Yeah, correct. Uh, I think correct. that way, but fully correct. Okay. It is fully correct. I agree with this. Yeah, and correct. let's see how. If I say 24, means how many network bits we have? 24. 24 means? Network bits, I think. 24 Eight. means? Eight networks. Eight. We have 24 networks. Yeah, 24 networks. Right, means we say 24 bits is equal to 24, right? Now, yeah. if I say... 26 bits. How many network bits you do you think I have? 26? Correct? I think so. No. No? Yes, correct. 26 all I think. So my actual requirement is so my actual network is this. My requirement is this. So in a nutshell, what I did, I have given two extra bits to my network. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Means my actual network was 24. I have converted into 26 means the total number of network here was 24. So if I say here, requirement is 26 requirement minus actual sorry, actual is equal to 2 to the power, let's say, let's say this. To the, 2 to power 2, I think. Yeah, so that actual, the requirement is what? 26. What is the actual number? 24. Mm. What we have 2 left, right? Yeah. And 2 to the power 2. 4. 4 subnets. So that's why we got how many subnets? 4 subnets. So is that answer correct or wrong? Let's start. Now I have another request for you guys and you have to do it by yourself and you just need to give me the answer. The actual network is 192.168.1.0 slash 24. Kiran, can you explain once again? Because you minus 32 minus 26 here, 6 bits, right? Like why here is uh, 2, it's 4, 26 minus 24 okay. is 4. How, okay. how it came? Okay, 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 fine. This is number of network bits. This is for? This is for number of host bits. Host bits. This is number of host bits. Host bits. This is the number of network bits. So you, what you got, you got to under, uh, you understood the number of host bits. Now I am explaining you to calculate the number of network bits. Just for your information, 
A calculation of number of network bits goes from left to right. That is for number of network bits. Number of network bits. And the number of host bits goes from right to left. Number of host bits. You got me. So now somebody said it's number of host bits is number of network bits is 26, right? So the number of uh, network bits is 26. What is the number of host bits now? Six. Eight. Number of host bits? Six. 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 32 minus 26 is and 2 to the power the power 6 is equal to 64. 64. 64. That's what I represented here or that guy has represented here. Same thing, man. Okay. Okay. Yes, Ocha? What guys, or let me give you okay. Let me give you one more example. It's easy, I believe. So now you net let me know the number of host bits and number of network bits. Number of host bits. Bit eight word bits and twenty four network bits. Number of okay. Guys, you did not. Okay, number of host bits and number of network bits. Now, your task is to convert this into slash 28. Let's say not 28. Let me give you slash 29. Okay. Now, tell me what are the number of host bits, number of network bits. Take your time. Okay. Network bits will be 29 as you host bits are. and network and number of host bits will be 32 minus 29, it means three bits. Three bits. Now you people got how the networking or how the submitting works. But we need to, of course, do some calculation. 2 power 3, it means 8. We have 8 hosts in each subnet. Yes. And we have, um, okay, we, we have 29 minus 24, it means 5. And we need to calculate it. 2 power 9, it is 32 subnets. Yes, correct. Yes. So the number of host is equal to eight per subnet and total number of, okay. Total number of subnets will be 29 minus 24 is equal to five bits. Mm -hmm. Two to the power five is equal to 32 subnets. Guys, any concern, any issues? A little bit confusion, so we can make practice, I think. No, no, no problem. I'll give you two questions straight away for in this class. So everyone will solve their own and there will be no discussion. I will not ask the answer. So at the end, I'll give you some options and accordingly you need to select. 192.168.1.0 slash 25 convert into 192.168 into 1.0 slash 28 network. Calculate number of host bits. Network bits. Number of networks. Network. 
and then number of four bits and number of host per subnet guys this is your question you have 10 minutes to solve and if somebody knows the answer don't speak on the call i'll give you the options and then you need to just give you, give it a tick mark you have 5 minutes to solve and then in 5 minutes we'll discuss the answer Then is it twenty five to twenty eight? You mean to say the dash? Yes, it is twenty five to twenty eight, right? Right. Okay. Or if you have confusion, you can consider twenty five as twenty four months. Not an issue. Nanda, you will get the recording made. Guys, did we solve the problem, or did we, did we solve this, or do you want me to explain? Yes, I solved it. Yeah, you are a genius, man. Who solved it? Try to explain. Yeah. Okay. Let me explain, and we'll give you the quick view. So. The number of network bit, guys, kindly see the screen. Number of network bits twenty eight is equal to twenty five. Yeah, twenty eight. Yeah. Okay. The number of number of sub networks. Will be twenty eight minus twenty five is equal to three, and two to the power three is equal to six. Guys, eight. Eight. Eight sub networks. Right, and then number of host is equal to thirty two minus twenty eight. Yeah. Four. And two to the power four is equal to sixty. Am I correct? Yes, you are correct. So the number of network will be like one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot zero slash to sixteen. It will be twenty eight. One ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot zero. Uh, it's sixteen, so it will be sixteen plus twenty-eight. Okay. One dot thirty-two slash twenty-eight. Until or till one ninety-two dot one sixty-eight dot one one two. Sorry, one dot one one two slash twenty-eight. Okay. It will be total eight networks comprising here. The so next will be. Dot forty eight. Dot four. Dot eighty. And dot eighty. Uh, one zero. Oh, sorry, one zero six. Ninety six. Sorry, man. Sorry. Yeah, ninety six. Total eight networks. Calculate one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Number of host per network will be sixteen. And again, just for your information, first IP address and last IP address are not usable. For example, in this network, what is the first IP address? One hundred ninety-two dot one hundred sixty-eight dot one. Dot seventeen, sixteen is the IP address. And the last last one will be thirty one. Sixteen is a network uh, ID. <clears throat> yes, so that's why. I mean, why starts from seventeen. Oh, oh yeah. IP address of host. Okay, of host. Okay, it will be uh, seventeen. 
Yeah, uh, you know what I am saying, you are no, correct. No, no. Is the network IP address? So my question is, the first IP address and the last IP address are not usable, which is in this scenario dot sixteen and and thirty one. Yeah, yeah, because the first is network address and the last is the broad broadcast. Okay. Yeah. So the usable IP address. <coughs> Where is thirty uh... one? Is from dot. Thirty one is there, man. It is not usable. Yes, sir. Yes. 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 So the total number of usable IP addresses is sixteen minus two is equal to fourteen. Yes. So maybe you will give dot seventeen to your gate. Which we will do in our labs from tomorrow onwards. Okay. Now tomorrow we will be focusing on our configuration work. Dot mode theory we have covered today. Nice, very nice. Any questions from anyone, guys? <clears throat> Are we good to close for the day? Yes, sir. Uh, Riaz. I'm done, man. <laughs>